The mob of the dead mobsters are Al the Weasel Ellington, Michael Finn O'Leary, Salvatore Saldaluca and Billy Hansom. Four prisoners imprisoned in Alcatraz, San Francisco, trapped in the afterlife, in purgatory, a never ending cycle. Their story has been told in two different zombies maps, Mob of the Dead and Blood of the Dead. But what happened to them? What was canon? Did they break the cycle? Did their cycle continue? Are they dead? Are they alive? What was the fates of these characters? All four of these characters were crooks, criminals, gangsters. Residing in America, Chicago, Sal DeLuca came from a family of poor immigrants from Italy. And from birth, him, his mother, his father and grandmother eventually made it to Ellis Island to settle down in America. Sal's early life had been simple. However, Sal didn't like this. He wasn't a simple guy and decided to forsake his parents, which is when he left them to head for Chicago. After arriving there in July of 1922, Sal opened a casino which marked the beginning of his new crime family. And his first big crime was stealing a shipment of Irish whiskey from the north side of Chicago, where he shot a guy which led to him becoming disabled. Sal's crime empire became heavily involved in gambling, prostitution and the distribution of alcohol, and he used the money he gained from it to set up his own criminal organisation. Over the years, Sal continued with his crimes when he coveted another man's girl, his business and eventually took his life. This guy's name was Giuseppe Rioni. Sal took him out by shooting him in the skull and left the blame on another gang member called Jimmy Alessi. Giuseppe Rioni's Northside gang demanded revenge and so they killed Alessi, which led to a gang war within the city, from which Sal became richer. Because of the war in Chicago, not wanting to get his hands dirty, Sal told one of his associates, Billy Hansom, to kill members from Torrio's gang, which led to the death of Torrio's men as well as innocent people near them. Billy was one of the most infamous hitmen in Chicago, having committed over 100 murders. Anything that Sal wouldn't get his hands dirty with, Billy would do. Whether that be slitting guys' throats, tying them up, luring them back, lighting warehouses on fire with people in them, anything you asked them to do, Billy would do it. Besides from Billy, Sal also had two other gang members who worked for him, being Michael Finn O'Leary and Albert the Weasel Arlington. Finn was a married man. He was married to a silent film actress known as Angelina Bow, a woman which he adored. However, after being married to her for over six years, Angela finally asked Finn for a divorce. But not wanting this, Finn informed his lawyers and rejected it. As for his association with Sal, Finn ran gambling rackets, including bootmaking. He was involved in making Sal money through fraud. And as for Albert Arlington, well, he began working for Sal Delucas crime family in 1930. He was known for being a master schemer and bank robber. Arlington was the money handler of Sal's mob, a well-noted con man. As Sal Delucas crime empire grew, he realised that he needed to bribe people in the city to ensure that it succeeded, including people from the city hall, the mayor's office and Chicago's finest. However, on March the 1st, 1929, Sal began to realise the lack of support from Chicago's police, which he knew would start to leave him with a disadvantage, realising that bribes was no longer an option. And so he marked that the alliance of his outfit and the Northside gangs must be kept. But this didn't last too long. After a couple of shaky years, things began to collapse. With bribes no longer working, Sal's empire began to break down, and angry at this, taking out his frustration, Sal killed a prostitute. Around this same time, Sal's money man, Arlington, was sent to gain more money for the gang by robbing a bank. This bank was in Los Angeles. Arlington arrived there, he used explosives in order to try and open the bank vault. However, Arlington nearly blew himself up and the explosives knocked him out. Emergency services then arrived on scene and Arlington was taken to hospital. Whilst laying in his hospital bed, being the creative person that he was, Arlington attempted to publish a comic strip named Icarus from Mars. Because he had all of the time in the world, he spent time on his comics trying to improve them, but every submission he made to the comic editor was denied. They didn't see his work, his drawings as good enough. But back to Sal, after his killing of a prostitute, no longer willing to turn a blind eye and be bribed, Chicago's police department arrest him. They also investigate other members of his gang, which also leads to the arrest of Billy Hansom, Michael Finn O'Leary, and Arlington, who was in hospital. All four members of Sal DeLuca's gang were arrested and awaited their trial. On May the 14th, 1932, Sal DeLuca was found guilty of murder and was sentenced to life in prison. 
Billy Hansen was convicted of 116 counts of murder. Upon Michael Finoulieri's arrest, his wife, Angelina Bo, testified against him in court, providing evidence where he was convicted of 16 counts of gambling fraud. And Arlington was found guilty of grand larceny, grand theft auto, arson, conspiracy, and battery. All four were set to serve their sentences in Alcatraz prison. Around the time of their sentencing was also the year when Alcatraz prison opened. It was supposed to open in 1934, however, thanks to the warden, opened a full year early. The warden of Alcatraz was into Satanism, the occult. He believed in the afterlife. He believed that there was a gateway to a better paradise, that his human form was weak, and so that by finding a way to this new realm, this new paradise he believed in, he would achieve his ultimate form. And the warden thought that through rituals, he would be granted this. And so, with the help of the Illuminati, he set up sigils, drew markers, in an attempt to contact Satan. At the same time, on June the 13th, 1932, Sal, Billy and Finn arrive at Alcatraz after being found guilty, and a few months later, Albert Arlington arrives, ready to serve his sentence. All four mobsters were now imprisoned on Alcatraz Island. After spending some time here, and of course, knowing each other from working together in their life in the outside world, becoming tired already of being locked up, the weasel begins to devise an escape plan. His plan includes taking out one of the guards, stealing the keys, and then using a makeshift aircraft he named Icarus, he would fly off the rooftop and escape. And in order to accomplish this, he brought Sal, Billy and Finn in on the plan. With everybody now agreed, on December 31st, 1933, the plan was set into motion. The weasel escaped his prison cell, he freed his accomplices, and they set out to build the plane. But the plan quickly started to fall apart. Sal, Billy and Finn realised that this plane wasn't buildable, and that flying off the rooftop was ridiculous. Angry and frustrated, feeling like the weasel had conned and misled them, Sal, Billy and Finn then came up with a plan to exact revenge. Armed with makeshift weapons, they planned to lure Arlington to the rooftop, where they were going to kill him. Meanwhile, back with the Warden of Alcatraz, he successfully managed to create his contraption and gain contact with a voice in his head. He believed this voice to be the devil, Satan. We know this was the voice of the Shadow Man. No! Contraption! Hear me. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Apologies, my lord. I am here. Calm, faithful warden, calm. I bring glad news. The world that you seek is near at hand. Oh, thank you, my lord. Thank you. I've done my best to prepare the way. Please, where are you now? Hidden. Trapped. Waiting. I... I, I see. Uh, oh, tell, tell me what I must do. Four souls in your possession, four arriving soon. With the first, you will transform the island. Salvatore De Luca, Finn O'Leary, Billy Hansom, Al Arlington. Salvatore, Finn, Billy, Al. Yes, my lord, I, I, know, I know these names. Their sins shall be their undoing. Their eternal punishment through your sacrifice will ensnare another. His ultimate reckoning. A trap for another. Forgive my ignorance, Lord, but how will I know what to... Uh... Sir, it's me, Stanley. We have a situation. Damn the situation, Ferguson. You handle it. I am not to be disturbed. Wait. Listen. I'm real sorry to interrupt your prayers, sir. But there's been a murder up on the roof. It's Al Arlington. Arlington? Yes, sir. Part of some kind of botched escape attempt. We got Sal DeLuca and his two cronies in custody. Looks like it was them. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. The Shadow Man began to speak to the Warden and started to manipulate him, telling him that if he does everything he asks, he will be granted access to a new world. But first, the Shadow Man wanted the Warden to transform the island, and in order to do this, he told him that four prisoners, who were Sal, Finn, Billy and Al, needed to be sacrificed. Through their death, Alcatraz Island would be transformed. That would then be used to trap another person who was 
Richtofen. And just as the warden was about to ask the shadow man how will I know what to do, Stanley Ferguson, one of the guards, knocks on the warden's door and tells him that there's been a murder on the rooftop, that Albert the Weasel Arlington has been killed and Sal DeLuca, Billy Handsome and Finn O'Leary have been taken to custody. Now realising what he must do, listening to the shadow man with one of the four mobsters dead, Arlington, the warden then sentences the other three mobsters to death by electric chair. And on January the 19th, 1934, their death came. Uh, um, uh, my lord, I entreat thee to speak. I have done as you asked. The remaining three of the first four shall die by electric chair this evening. And soon after I shall join them. It will be glorious in this new realm, Lord. I have no doubt, but, but I confess, I, I am afraid. This form is weak and has taken to drink, but I do cling to it still. Please, grant me the strength to... <laughs> grant you the strength? Oh, you poor, pathetic wretch. I will grant you nothing until your death. You know this. Yes, yes, my lord, of, of course. My life is part of the disease, and the disease must be purged. I, I rejoice that that day has come. But you are a base, disgusting creature that cannot help fearing for its own skin. It is not your fault. Oh. Thank you for saying so, my lord. Truth be told, I long for the miracle that will release me. That's a good lad. You have been an adequate servant. Therefore, you will continue to serve after the corruption. Such an honor for me. Not an honor. A purpose. The final act the Shadow Man told the Warden he needs to do in order to transform the island was also to sacrifice himself. And believing this would send him to a better place, that's exactly what the Warden did. He sat himself in an electric chair, wetting a sponge around his crown, tightened the cap screws, and with the switch in his hand, he turned it on, which electrocuted the Warden to death. And with the sacrifice of all four mobsters and the Warden, Alcatraz became trapped in a pocket dimension. Within this pocket dimension, the Warden was reborn as a bigger, stronger version of himself called Brutus. Now unknowingly trapped in the Alcatraz pocket dimension, the four mobsters, Sal, Billy, Finn and Al, begin their life sentence in purgatory, doomed to repeat these same events over and over again. Not realising that they are trapped in a cycle, they attempt to escape the prison. Arlington pretends to be ill so he can steal the prison guard's keys, Stanley Ferguson. He then escapes his cell and helps his accomplices to escape as well, when suddenly Stanley Ferguson is resurrected as a zombie and attacks them. The crew eventually kill him, but attacked by more of the undead, where they get overrun and killed. And upon their death, the cycle repeats, where they awaken once again in the prison. They escape their cells, they fight off against hordes of the undead in the prison, but this time they build the plane on the rooftop, Icarus, and fly off. They escape. However, the plane crashes into the Golden Gate Bridge, where in front of them, with no other option of escaping, they sit on electric chairs and are killed, only to be resurrected again in the prison. And so they attempt to escape again, they build the plane, fly off the rooftop, but each and every time they die and are sent back to Alcatraz. Whatever the cause of their death, whether it be by the undead or some other means, each and every time they are brought back to Alcatraz, doomed to repeat the same events over and over, never to escape the Alcatraz pocket dimension. And each time they are brought back, their memories are wiped. They don't remember having repeated this same event previously. However, after a few times of attempting to escape, Arlington begins to remember what happened and realises that they're trapped in a cycle that they've been attempting to escape the prison, but each time they do, they die and are brought back. The mobsters eventually relearning what happened with their failed plan and them killing Arlington on the rooftop. Believing this is why they are here, they once again attempt to kill Arlington. The four build the plane, fly off the rooftop, crash into the Golden Gate Bridge, where Billy, Sal and Finn murder the weasel. However, this only causes the cycle to continue, where they're sent back to Alcatraz once more. Upon repeating these same events, things change when one time when Billy, Finn and Sal attempt to murder Arlington, they fail and he kills them. He exacts revenge, which 
breaks the cycle. The four are then sent back to Alcatraz, but instead of being resurrected as their former selves, they now take the form of ghosts. Still trapped in the Alcatraz pocket dimension, just this time free to roam around the island. Billy, Finn and Sal come back as ghosts of themselves and the weasel is reborn as a bird, specifically a seagull, where just like his ghost associates, flies around the island. Still though, unable to leave. Sometime after, Richtofen and the crew eventually arrive at Alcatraz and become trapped in the pocket dimension that was set up for them by the Shadow Man and the Warden. Since this is a video about the mob of the dead characters, not Primus and Ultimus, there are a few events that take place that I'm not going to mention, just because they're not relevant to these characters, but Richtof and Takio, Nikolai and Dempsey end up getting themselves caught by Brutus and thrown into jail cells. And whilst imprisoned in them, when Brutus is not there, the weasel in the form of a seagull comes along and frees Richtof and Takio, Nikolai and Dempsey from the prison cells. He then leads them outside, where all of a sudden, Brutus comes face to face with them, but before he can capture Richtof and the crew, Sal, Billy and Finn as ghosts take hold of Brutus and lift him away, allowing Richtofen and the crew to keep going. Pathetic fools! will not be disobeyed! Finn, Ah, that teensy little seagull. The ghosts of Alcatraz have bought us the time. And at the end of Blood of the Dead, we know Primus end up killing Brutus and using the fire gem from the elemental staff to purge the evil from Alcatraz, which releases it from its pocket dimension and allows all of the trapped souls to escape. The souls of Sal, Billy, Finn and Al in the form of a seagull are freed. So there we go. That was what happened to the mob of the dead mobsters. They were imprisoned in Alcatraz, sentenced to death via electric chair for the murder of Arlington, became trapped in a cycle in Alcatraz in a pocket dimension, eventually broke the cycle when Arlington got his revenge for his murder, were then free to roam Alcatraz as ghosts, but were eventually freed from this realm when the evil was purged. Check out the other sets of characters I've done videos on if you want to know their fate, the Call of the Dead cast, the Five crew, the Transit crew, the Shadows of Evil characters. I've done videos on all of those. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, a like rating would be appreciated. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest videos on the channel. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.